Hi guys, Wandersun here. In this video I will teach you how to create components that will be responsible for resizing the window of our application. Before start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Let's start by creating a component called mouse area. This component is responsible for the functions related to the mouse, such as double click, right mouse click, click and drag and etc. We will set the width of this new component to 10. We will choose the anchor as top, bottom and left, putting the top margin as 10 and the bottom margin as 10. Just for organizational reasons, I will cut this component and paste it below the drop shadow component. I will rename this component to resize left, add a new cursor icon called size our cursor, which will be displayed when the mouse is over the mouse area component. When running the application we can see that the cursor changes when the mouse is over the component we just created. Now add a drag handler as shown in the video. This function will be responsible for resizing the window on the left side of the application. Now when running our application we can see this function in action, however we need to define a minimum width and height for the application to not break the layout. I'm going to set the minimum width to 800 and the minimum height to 500. When I run the application again we see that when the width reaches 800 it stops decreasing. Let's copy and paste the component we just created below. Rename the identification to resize left and in anchoring disable the left anchorage and activate the right anchorage to position this component on the right side of our application. Change the left edge object to right edge and run the application to test that it is working correctly. We will repeat the same process for the bottom margin of the application, and then change the object to the bottom edge. And change the anchoring so that the mouse area is at the bottom. Set the height of this component to 10. To finish this component just change the cursor shape as shown in the video. We will create another mouse area by dragging it into our bottom bar, placing its width with a value of 25 and height as 25. In layout we will use the right and bottom anchoring. Let's add a diagonal cursor. and run our application to test.
We will add a new drag handler which will be responsible for resizing our window on the right and bottom as shown in the video. We can run our application and test to see if everything is working correctly. After that we will add an image into our mouse area that will indicate to the user that this will be a region for resizing the window. Choose the resize icon SVG icon for our application, add the alignment and also the dimension shown in the video. It also disables anti-aliasing for this image. I'm just going to add a top margin with 5 and a left margin with 5 to make this image more to the bottom right side. I'm going to set the opacity to 0.5 to make the visualization of this image smoother. Done that we have the components to resize our window created, however we need to add a function to say that when our window is maximized these components should be hidden. Go to the function of maximizing the window, add the name of all the components that we have just created putting your visibility as false. We can copy and paste this code below just by changing the visibility to true. This will make after the window is restored the visibility of these components will be as visible. See that everything is working, when we maximize our window the components are hidden, and when we restore our window the components are visible again. We need to copy this function to the other functions that we created below however to make our code cleaner we will create a new function that will contain the task of making the components visible. Create a new function called Reset Resize Borders, paste the code we just cut into that function, and apply it to all the functions below as shown in the video. So we can have a cleaner code. After that is done we conclude today's video. In the next video, I will teach you how to create pages for our application, in this case the home page and the settings page. Thanks to all Patreon supporters. See you in the next video.